guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel if you don't know who i am i am chelsea ohenewa so today we are doing a story time outside i don't know if you guys can hear me clearly but i don't have my microphone so i'm just hoping my phone will do justice to this video so this is a story time about how i've lost my second job so it's not sad i have i was working two jobs starbucks and then Living Sky Cafe where I was a line cook and also an event staff so that was more like I work a few hours there compared to Starbucks I get more hours at Starbucks because of my availability and because I'm in school so I can't you know do too much so this year no last year they went on a break from 22nd till 2nd January my last day working there was 22nd so the beginning of the new year, like my new term, I had to change my availability there because my courses changed, the days changed, and I didn't get any, what's it called, schedule from them, beginning of the year. So I thought, like, oh, maybe, the, because it has happened before, it happened last year, like for like two weeks, they didn't give me any schedule. So I thought, like, oh, this is one of those things, they'll probably give me a schedule later. And they had a meeting, which I went when I went, everything felt weird. Like the way they were looking at me, it's like they were not expecting me to be there. And that made me think that, oh, these people are not going to call me again. But anyway, I still, they even gave me tips that day. They said at the meeting that this evening they were going to put the schedule, but the schedule comes every Friday. So that evening I went back home after the meeting and then I didn't get the schedule. And even at the meeting, they were telling one girl that like they are training her on my spot. And they were asking her if she's like good and she's able to catch up and she said yes i was like oh well these people have already sagged me about anyway so when i went home the schedule came again and then i didn't hear from them but me i didn't ask like my friends were telling me to call them and let them know that like what's up why are they not giving me a shift i didn't care because i had starbucks and then i already talked to my manager to give me more shifts and i'm doing so well at starbucks i'll do another story time about another one because i've been promoted at starbucks but not, i'm not going to talk about that now because currently i lack so much content that i have to divide my content into so many parts i don't get time to edit sorry if i'm speaking too fast because i speak too fast already i'm speaking too fast right so they i didn't get here from them like i've not heard from them since the beginning of the year like since 22nd december i didn't hear, i've not heard from them so last week the manager or one of the owners called me and she was like no she didn't call she texted me i'll attach the message to the video so she texted me and she was like chelsea um we are currently overstaffed and we do not need your something i don't remember but in the future if they need me they'll call me and let me know i was like i replied i'll attach the, um, the message to it but I, I don't have it off head so yeah currently i've lost my job i'm not sad i knew it was going to happen because and i don't it's not my fault and it's not their fault it's because i didn't give them an open availability that was the reason why this happened it's not like i was not doing a good job like i know i, I wherever i go i make sure i do well like everybody knows from cora to starbucks everybody knows i put in my best so guys that is it i've lost my job but that does not mean i'm not working i still work at starbucks i found another job that i'm doing which is and it's not a permanent job it's just a part-time job i'm going to talk about that later yes i lost that job and one day i was just there when they sent me, me whenever i don't know i act on impulse so when they send that message i just went to our school's career site and i was like looking for jobs because i want to work during this um long break. i have a very long break coming up so i saw one assistant in which later job that i was like well let me apply because mostly when i'm applying for jobs i don't like jobs that requires um cover letter because even though it's good to add it but i don't really like writing it because it takes so much time but this one they didn't require a cover letter so i was like oh let me just apply i applied and then they called me there and then and she was like hi chelsea we just received your resume and then we would like to do the interview i was like like right now and it wasn't even a video call it was just a normal call and she was like yeah and she was like oh looking at my resume she knows that i'm good i'm a good fit for the job blah 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 and then that's she was like yeah i've gotten the job like that's it and she said yes yeah, that's it she was laughing and then she was like yeah so i've gotten the job and then that is the i would say that's the highest paid job i've gotten since i came to canada it pays so well but sadly it's just from i started in march it's march till june and then i don't get i get like 10 hours a week eight hours a week because it's invigilation i'm working with the royal college of physicians and surgeons of canada so the doctors the surgeons all the disciplines in medicine are 
writing like this is the exam that they write to become licensed doctors so it's a licensial exam and then all you do is sit and then it pays well i'm not going to say how much i get but it pays well like that's the highest pay per hour i've gotten since i came to canada so yeah i've lost my line cook job but i still have starbucks and then i have another assistantship job like, a, like the one behind the camera is giving me some eyes that's why it's like i don't know there will be some cuts in the side eye okay so <laughs> so guys even though i lost my living sky job i have starbucks and now i have an assistant in vigilator job as well but that one is and the assistant vigilator ends in june but hopefully they said they write it twice in a year so this is a spring one and then they'll write again in fall but in fall it's just a few people that a few doctors that register to write that but in spring is when they have a lot of people so they will need more people to work with but yeah that is it since i share my good news with you guys i was like well let me share my bad news because it's not always rose people think that once you are in canada everything is going on well yeah things are better than when you were in ghana but it's not that easy as people think but now me i don't try to explain myself too much because people still think when i was in ghana i was still whenever my friends tell me they are this and i'll say that ah oh, you are outside and you are seeing this but until you come and you experience it you think that oh everything is rosy so thank you for watching I'll come your way same time next week with another video. Bye! Where does school come? Can you see me? Yeah, I'm going to put a in. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. What's your steps? Can you see me? Yeah, I'm going to do it. But I don't know. I said, like, you don't see me. That's Why can you hold it like that for five minutes? That's like, no, you can't use your two hands, never. It's so, a full video. Not full, half. Full video. I'm not sure when you feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just Thank you guys for watching. Oh, Zenin and America. Let me carry Yeah, so, you know, yeah. Now, Kase, is here, like, although you've oh, lost sorry, your yeah. job, no, you have another job that you're currently doing, and you can't disclose the pay, but it's like, it's. So far, it's the highest, you know, yeah. paying job you've, you've, you know, gotten ever since you moved to Canada. So, so yeah, that's it, guys. Um, I'm trying to remember what I was saying. Yeah, that is it. No, but I want to say something before I end it. I'm, I'm, how many minutes now? Eight minutes. Yeah, that's not bad. At least in the editor, I will do very six. I'll take it like that. Yeah.